Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to join an Xbox One party chat on your PC, and this will be on Windows 10. So let's go ahead and jump into the video right now. So the first thing to explain is there's a couple different applications on the PC that you can use to join a party chat. And I'll just go through the three different applications right now. The first one I have up is the Xbox beta application, which will be the primary application in the future. You'll have your Game Pass, social, and store. And then you'll get notifications right here, and then your profile. And you can go over to the social tab, where you can see your friends, like Killers right here, Killers91. And I can go ahead and right-click on his name, start a voice chat, open a chat, join party, which is very easy to do. I can go ahead and join the party by clicking on his name right now. And we're connected at the top right. Hello, killers, can you hear me? Hey, so you're on your Xbox One? Yes. I can yes, see I... you're playing Halo 5 Guardians. All right, then on the PC, you have the option to join the voice channel, view people in the party, add someone to the party okay so this is the xbox application the next one you probably have seen if you went into the start menu and then went to the tile section and it will show up right here this is the xbox council companion application you'll have a bunch of different options on the sidebar here but most notably is your connection to game streaming with your xbox one located on the left hand side you can do the same kind of thing where you can start a party I just started a party on my PC, and people on the Xbox One can go ahead and join me. I have the options to invite from here, show people who are in my party, or I can leave party right here. So it's going to be very similar to Discord. Microsoft and Discord have a collaboration right now between the two companies. So the Xbox Party Chat on the PC and the Xbox One are, are going to be very similar. So that's very easy to join a party from this application. I mean, you have your friends list your parties, your messages, and your activity alerts. If someone sends you a message, it'll pop up. And the next application is going to be a little bit trickier to get to. If you press the Windows button and G, this will be a default application. You may have to enable it on your PC, but if you press the Windows button and G at the same time, this will pop up on your screen. And it'll have a couple different PC options like your CPU usage, GPU, RAM, bunch of different audio options where you can adjust your system sound, game bar, OBS, screen labs. And if you are wanting to broadcast directly from this application, I mean, you can take screenshots, record, mute your mic, or start streaming from this application, you can. But I like it for the chat. The chat pops up. This reminds me of the Steam chat, how it kind of has the similar look. And if you want to get rid of one of the tiles, you can go ahead and check mark it up here. And I like this overlay because it does make it a lot easier to join a chat. I just press Windows G and then I can see the notifications right here. So there you have it. There's three different ways you can join an Xbox One party chat on your Windows 10 PC. Microsoft has made this very easy for us to do and stay connected with our Xbox One friends when we're playing on the computer. If this Xbox One video did help you out, make sure to leave it a like and subscribe to my channel down below. And check out some more Xbox One help videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.